Hi everyone, welcome back. Today, as a lot of you requested, I'm going to make a new melodic bounce tutorial. I know that there are not many videos or content out there about this style, so I want to make sure that everyone can create the melodic bounce track of their dreams. So let's just get into it. For the purpose of this tutorial, I've created a small sample pack that contains samples that I literally use all the time to create my personal tracks. And as I said in another video, having quality samples is something that is necessary if you want to take your production to the next level. If you decide to get your hands on to this project, know that I also add this sample pack with it. The first thing I did when I started this track was to create the chord progression. The scale I'm using is D sharp minor, which is great for melodic stuff. Of course, I could get more complex and add notes, uh, but I like simplicity in most of my songs, so that's what it is. And then I wrote this melody. I already had the melody in mind when I wrote it. I think it's the best way to produce because if you try to open your piano roll and you don't have a melody in mind and you're just putting notes randomly, you'll probably end up frustrated and with a crappy result. So always try to have a melody before you open your piano roll. create drop, I first grab a kick from the back and one of my a 2 bass presets, which I also use all the time. For the lead, I use this really famous vocal chop. Literally everyone is asking me to share. So that's today, guys. Just grab it and leave me alone, please. For the second part of the drop here, I used leads that are available in my first sample selection that I presented in this video here. Video where I make a Melbourne track only using stock plugins. If you're interested, link is in the description. It's the exact same melody, but using other leads can be a great way to add variation without a lot of effort. It can take some time to find the right combination, but it can give a crazy unexpected effect that I like. A last detail are the so stabs. It's in the background of the mix, but it's adding so much support to the drop. It doesn't need to be really loud. It can be lower than a lot of other elements in the drop but it's just here to add uh, energy basically and it's really important to have a good go-to so patch for your track because uh, it's giving a nice touch to it that's it for this drop so hope that uh, helps uh, if you like the video please thumbs up please subscribe it's really important and tell me in the comments what you want to see uh, for the next video and see you soon guys bye